Congressman. Uh, such a pleasure to see you here at the DNC. Good to be here. So, um, what what do you expect will come? I've heard this is a very unusual convention. This is my first. I don't know what to expect. I've heard it's unusual. What's what's your take on it? Well, this is my fifth, uh -huh. uh, and uh, I've spoken at three of the five. Uh, I have never been to a convention that was as emotional uh, as uh, we've seen uh, so far. Uh, the the pre the president's daughter introducing him last night had. Uh, water running down faces all over this arena and uh, I think it's it's moving uh, people were, were uh, also emotional about Joe Biden no matter how many people wanted him to step down because not because he's a bad president or or any of that but we thought that uh, some people thought that uh, we'd have a better chance to win and eventually he came to that conclusion and so he didn't go down in history one of the most selfless uh, person to ever occupy the White House sitting behind the, the Resolute Desk. And so it's been a moving experience uh, for a lot of people, and uh, probably the same way with people around the country in their homes. Congressman, I've seen a number of people here talking about the threat of Russia, the threat of China. W what do you see as the biggest external threat to America? Well, there's no, there's no threat greater than uh, what could happen internally. Uh, we have had, uh, I think, like five uh, civilizations and all of them fail, not because they were attacked from without, but, but because of uh, dissension inside and internally. Uh, I do think that Russia poses a threat to us. I think uh, China poses a threat uh, to us. Uh, but I, I, in spite of the, the, the threat, they, they can do nothing because we're the most powerful nation on the planet, both militarily and economically. And uh, we, there are no signs that we will be surpassed anytime soon. Uh, and, and as long as both those nations put people in who respect the power of atomic energy, uh, we won't go to war and destroy uh, the world. So I, I think uh, we have to keep our eyes on both uh, China, on Russia, and Iran, frankly, uh, because I, I expect uh, probably sometime in the ne next year they're going to announce that they have the bomb. Sir, we got to go. Okay. Thank you very much, Congressman. All right. Good to talk with you.